It's a lovely reception office here and the security barriers. Now as you come into the park here, you come through the barrier and you'll notice that the main roadway through the centre of the park, there's a lovely tarmac road which vehicles can pass quite easily and either side there's these little roadways and really little cul-de-sacs. Really impressive, isn't it? So, yeah. it's huge. It's a huge site and fantastically, Landscape. yeah, sp spaced out. The sun's getting low in the sky, so you may not see what we're seeing um, there, but the there's lots of these, these trees, lots of these chemical uh, waste and um, bins and fresh water service mountains. stations. In the far distance, you can there's see mountains with mist on them, can't you? You can, yeah. But all these mature bushes are separating the little roadways that go on to little, little cul-de-sacs just there with them um, caravans yeah, and there was look, another one fish and chip there. there's another one to the left here let's CCTV in operation yep yeah. yeah they've got security cameras around the place but all the way down to these bays and uh, in the distance down here, you'll probably see what we've been looking for, the chip van. <laughs> yep. Fabulous play area over here for the children. And the grass areas, there is so many open grass spaces. It's Bertie over in the background there. We're just on the little doggy walk. This is one of the little doggy walks. It's a, an area adjacent to uh, the caravan pitches. But look at this, it's a lovely big wooded area with uh, beautifully cut lawns. And uh, it's, there's a circular path all the way around with dog bins and lovely mature bushes and trees. And here is the uh, second of the facilities blocks. It's uh, uh, laundry and uh, washing up at this end um, with fresh water taps. And then uh, ladies and gents toilets along there. All lovely, uh, good quality and fresh and clean. And they're uh, surrounded as you can see by beautiful areas of grass and trees and mature bushes and if I turn around behind me here you can see some of the sizes of the uh, these are pretty standard pitches um, they are really generous and uh, they're not service pitches these ones but they're really generous I'll walk around the corner a bit and show you uh, some more along another row also with the, the grassed areas the children's playground is over here let's go and take a look at that now here's the children's playground and uh, you wouldn't be fooled by thinking that this is the main road in the village. It's 
wide, it runs down the centre of the park and there is space for two caravans or motorhomes to pass. How about that? This just, it really does uh, explain the, the, the uh, space that we have on this site. And over to the right here you can see more grassed areas and look, there's three pitches there with caravans on and they really are well spaced out. You'll notice the street lighting as well, so there's no security issue at night here. There's plenty of light if you need to go to the washroom in the night. And here's the children's playground. And, and lots of area here for the youngsters to play ball and, uh, and uh, play around on the grass. They're walking down this path at the back of the children's playground. There is a, a gate here which is uh, locked at night time um, and is, it provides access to a, another field and a woodland walk across the road which is all part of Lick Penny's estate and uh, you do have to cross this little road which from time to time can get a few cars driving down it but just across there you can see the other gate and that leads through to the woodland walk and uh, really very nice we've been over there a couple of times with the dogs and as you can see you do have to look left and right as you go out of that gate but nevertheless that is a cracking place to take the dogs and every time we go over there we're the only ones <laughs> so uh, it's not crowded this site by any means at all. Just look at that. There are lots of these chemical waste, fresh water and uh, waste point emptying um, service points here around the site and there's bins there as well and uh, that's the entrance down there I'll show you in one of these uh, bays just on the left here in just a moment you can see the, in the bays here there are six pitches all very private with the hedging around and on the other side of the road so as you come into the site And this road leads to the um, deluxe pitches, and that's where Bertie's parked. Let's take a look. And the deluxe pitches are sighted um, on slightly up the hill, so you get a little bit more of a view up here. And uh, again, more grassed areas. And this little track here takes you through to that wooded area where the doggy walk was that I showed you just now. And then. Uh, if we carry on walking up the hill, you'll see Bertie is just up here in the corner on pitch 8A. And all of these pitches are really generous size. They are the deluxe pitches, which do cost another three or four pounds a night. They have all the services on the pitch and uh, they're well worth it in my opinion. And this is our pitch 8A. As you can see, it's, it's huge. I mean, there's so much room here. You can park anywhere on the pitch. We've uh, opted to park near to the tap and the waste. So my little waste pipes are going through into the drain and the corner of the pitch. But uh, there's the, the, the doggy walk. Look, it's just over the little ridge. And I'll come a little closer so you can see through there. And as you can see, we've got some cracking views from our motorhome, from this elevation here, um, of the Derbyshire Hills.
real treat. And then to our left, in the square window, <laughs> is the doggy walk, which um, it is lovely to look out on. The bird song and the little rabbits running around in here. But uh, very pretty indeed. We love it. Well, staff have been lovely here. When we booked up, um, we booked by phone and uh, we were offered uh, a deluxe pitch, which we gladly took. Um, the staff, uh, I rang them later because um, COVID rules were changing and I wanted to know whether the visitors were allowed on the site. And uh, again, the staff were very helpful and polite and they did say that we could park in the, in the um, arrivals car park just outside the barriers, but visitors were not allowed on the site at this time. Those rules are changing constantly, as we know, but uh, you know, it was just the kindness and the friendliness that uh, struck me on the phone. And uh, on arrival, everything was uh, very helpful and uh, guidance around the site was um, really useful. So, And the other thing they did say is that if we wanted to come back and uh, we like the pitch that we're on, let them know and they'll try and uh, make sure that we get that pitch um, the next time we come. Again, not many um, uh, campsites and uh, uh, staff on the sites would be that helpful. So we really did appreciate that. Um, would we come back? Of course we would, in a flash. It's uh, not the cheapest site, um, we paid just over £30 a night, but we think that's well worth it. Well worth it for the service pitch, for views, for the space, and the peace and tranquility. Um, we've been quite hesitant to leave the site. It's been that nice. It's been really enjoyable to have space and time to sit back with a book and enjoy Derbyshire without the hustle and bustle. Hope you enjoyed that little tour. Uh, we will be back with uh, more from Derbyshire very shortly. Uh, in the next few days and then we've got a trip to Herefordshire yes all that way from East Anglia back to Herefordshire see you there bye now <laughs>